Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 17815 Wolf Drive here in Sandy. We're located just to the left of the doorway. We have a four inch ABS clean out. It's buried about six inches deep here. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. We're gonna zero out the foot counter right here at the bottom of the clean out. Line just transitioned there. It looks like over to concrete pipe right here at about 37 feet. We reach the main here at 70 feet. We're gonna go turn the water off here and let the whole line drain out while we go locate the terminus. All right, located the camera head successfully. The line terminates at the main out here on Wolf Drive. The line's pretty much doing a straight shot from the clean out to the main. And I have got a massive amount of sun in my face right now. I'm probably gonna review this video when I get home. My eyes are having a hard time adjusting here. Now these joints right here appear to have dirt sticking out of them. It's not so much an issue that affects functionality or as far as flow goes, but it can allow dirt and groundwater into the pipe. Technically speaking, those joints are closed, or I'm sorry, they're opened up to the ground. And that's going to be out in the roadway area. So before I decide to do any kind of repairs on it, I would find out if the homeowner is even responsible in the roadway out here. I'm not sure if they are. But that, that's kind of, it's somewhat of a technicality, but the joints are supposed to be sealed off to the ground. It also makes them more susceptible to root intrusions, which has not happened. But those are not issues. Sometimes when you get a joint that pulls enough groundwater and dirt in, it can lead to hydro erosion, which can cause a line to settle. You get pooling, the joints can open up, stuff like that. That hasn't happened there. There's no settling that's occurred. And then so all the stringy stuff, there's another joint there too that looks like it's compromised. you got dark staining around it. But there's a, there's a lot of little stringy things hanging down, most of which look like cobwebs. But I will take a second look at the video at home to make sure that there aren't any little root strands in and amongst that. But so far here, all of it looks just like cobwebs. You got another joint there that looks like it's got dirt coming out of it. And sometimes you can get excess pipe grout at the joint that looks quite similar to dirt. Anyway, none of that stuff at this point is affecting flow. Now 
Another joint there, it looks like it's got dirt coming out of it. And if I were to do any repairs on this stuff at this point, I'd be looking into an epoxy liner. A lot of this concrete pipe is under the roadway. That line goes almost all the way to the opposite side of the street. And that still just looks like a bunch of cobwebs there. I don't see obvious roots sticking out. But the joints alone are enough for me to recommend an update to the line. That one there still looks just like a bunch of cobwebs. And I'll locate the transition here in just a moment to see where that ha where that's at. Yeah, that right there is definitely not pipe grout coming through the joint. That's most of it so far here. It looks like it's dirt. And as far as I can tell, we get kind of a funky approach to the concrete pipe here. It might be belling out to 6 inch. It does look like there's a little bit of a diameter change there. I'll, I, it looks more like 4 inch pipe to me. I'll mark possibly 6 inch. And I'll go locate the transition here and see where we're at. Alright, so I've marked here and then marked to the curb. Um, the reason I'm not taking the paint markings out all the way into the roadway, again, I don't know if the city's responsible out there. If they are, I would say it's fairly unlikely they're going to actually fix it. A lot of cities don't like fixing stuff until the issues actually cause backups. But anyway, I do have to recommend an update there from 36 feet to 70 feet as you've got multiple compromised joints throughout the line. Pretty much, it's... It, Almost every one of them has dirt coming through them. Again, not an issue that's affecting flow. And it's very unlikely you're losing sewage out through those joints. The joints are all fairly tight. You, you have hydraulic pressure outside the sewer line. When the ground gets saturated with water, that hydraulic pressure forces stuff into the joint. So it's not something where I'm concerned you're losing sewage out of them. And it's kind of a progressive issue that can take some time to turn into a functional flow problem, if ever. It's, it's very hard to predict that. But anyway, if updates aren't done, first off, find out from the city if your if you're homeowner is even responsible. Where the transition is at is about, oh, three, four feet before the sidewalk edge, pretty much at the right of way. So I've marked there with white paint and then to the curb. Um, in my opinion, though, doing this by any other repair method other than lining it, I think it's overkill and overly expensive because that section there still has good flow through it. I don't I don't think this warrants tearing the roadway up. So that, that's that's kind of my opinion on it. I would I would look into an epoxy liner system or wait and and do the repair later. But this four inch pipe at least throughout, so this is definitely a candidate for that kind of repair. The one thing I can't tell, it's hard to tell here, is whether it switches to the four or six inch of the concrete transition. As far as flow goes, we do have good flow to the main lateral connection. All the ABS pipe appears to be in good condition. The concrete, however, has multiple compromised joints, which is why I'm recommending an update there. If repairs aren't done, I'd re-sculpt the line every about every two years to keep an eye on it. Those joints do make it more likely that roots could penetrate the line. And if you end up doing any repair work, make sure a re-scope is done to check the work. It's very important to do that.